What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and we're just a few months away from the first preview of iOS 12. Of course I'm excited, but at the same time tentatively nervous because Apple could make this even worse than iOS 11 based on their past performance, but that's why I'm making this video. I actually want to talk about 50 things I'd like to see in iOS 12. Are we likely to see every single one? No, but maybe Apple will take some inspiration and listen to the people. This is what all of you guys have voted and wanted in iOS 12. So many of these are features, but there's also a lot that would make my life a lot easier, things that Apple should have done already and wouldn't take too much effort to add to iOS 12. Now, the very first thing I wanna say is a fresh look. We've been looking at the same icons, pretty much the same look in iOS for close to five years now. I wish that Apple would mix things up, give us a little bit of a different orientation, maybe give us the possibility to change the grid formats from certain amount of icons to more, maybe allow you to shrink the icon scale them much like you would the actual text in iOS right now. And of course, make it more reliable, make it more stable. It has been so awful throughout this past year. I hope that Apple fixes it. And the good news is it's rumored that Apple will be focusing on just that. This to many people is actually their number one request from Apple. Next up, add some wallpapers, some dynamic ones, some live ones, something that Apple has been neglecting for quite some time. Also fix the notifications. Does this need to be said? It is a jumbled mess right now. Now, group them by application, make it look a lot cleaner because it is just quite ridiculous how bad the notifications are on iOS right now. Also, something I'd like to see on the iPhone 10 is a notification dot. Use the organic LED display to display sort of colors on uh, the top of the status bar based on the application that they come from. It's actually a genius idea from the creator of this Behance concept. And an always on display makes total sense on the organic LED display of the iPhone. I don't know why Apple didn't do it already. There would be a negligible difference to the battery life. I actually think Apple should speed up the animations in iOS 12. They're still too drawn out because this old iPhone 6S Plus on an older firmware actually feels faster than the iPhone 10 or just as fast using a sped up animation. It's actually amazing how much it transforms your experience and I'd like to see Apple speed it up in the stock iOS 12 version. And definitely inspired by Android, the ability to move applications wherever you'd like on the home screen. I really like it so you can get creative, move them around and and just not having to be locked into that grid that Apple uses is cool. And you guys might have noticed I have no app icon labels on my device. This matches the dock perfectly and I think it looks really cool on the iPhone. It should be an option. Now this one is a big one for me. It infuriates me. Whenever you get a call, you get taken hostage and you can't exit it and use the other application without letting the other person know that you hung up on them. We should be able to get just a little drop down menu letting us know that somebody is calling us but proceeding to be able to use whatever we were doing and uh, just keep going on with your life, not having to sit there and wait for the call to end. And the very same goes for Siri. Whenever you use her, she completely takes over the display, the interface. We should be able to have a little slim one on the top or bottom that you can interact with and keep doing whatever you were doing. Also, a lot of iPhone 10 improvements because honestly, it feels like iOS 11 was just poorly translated to the iPhone 10. I think that there should be a lot of improvements to it, such as being able to access Control Center easier, a more customizable Control Center for the iPhone 10 and all iPhones in general, uh, the use of third-party Control Center toggles, and also a shortcut on the Control Center that when holding a certain toggle, it would take you to the actual settings page of that toggle. I think that would actually be very useful. And on the iPhone 10, there's a feature that actually bothers me that we don't have. It's the fact that we don't have an auto unlock option when you don't have notifications for you to just go straight into the home screen instead of having to slide up every single time. Also, it's really annoying how you have to hold app cards in order to dismiss them in the app switcher. We should just be able to swipe up like on any other iPhone to dismiss the apps. That's one of the most annoying things for me, honestly, on the iPhone 10. Also, an option to clear the entire app switcher, even though it is counterintuitive, would be nice. And honestly, I find the home bar to be a waste of space on the bottom of applications. It should just fade out after you enter the application, giving you that extra space. And this is also a very big annoyance. You never really know which way to swipe on landscape applications in order to exit them. The swipe should be on the bottom of the phone always. So this way you don't get confused because different apps have different swipes and it's really annoying. Also, there should be a landscape mode for the iPhone 10 in general, because when you actually exit an app, this way you're just on the landscape home screen instead of having to go into portrait and then shifting your phone again. It's just a really big hassle. Apple should fix it. And I think a really cool and creative use of the space that's actually empty below the keyboard would be to put a slider for your emojis right underneath it. Sort of similar to the touch bar on Mac OS, 
would be kind of cool. Also, we should be able to change the toggles on the lock screen of the iPhone 10 because the camera one is kind of counterintuitive. There's a swipe to actually get into the camera. Why is that there? Give us the option to change that toggle. And from the concept, I'll link down below. This one's actually really cool. A 3D touch on the right of the display would bring up a app drawer of most recently or favorite used apps. Also in the status bar, the ability to replace your battery icon with an actual battery percentage would be nice as I do miss that feature from the old days. And I've been talking about this one for years. It's really getting annoying to me even, but a true dark mode. It doesn't even need to be said on the iPhone 10. It's a natural match. It would save you energy on the iPhone, easier on the eyes in the dark. And in general, to have it on any iPhone would be nice. Why Apple didn't include it with this iPhone, who knows, but it better be coming with iOS 12. Like I can't take another year without this feature. It's one of my favorite must have things, especially on an organic LED display. And having in-camera settings would be such a convenience factor. Why do you have to go to settings to change basic things like frame rates and video resolution? To have that available in the camera would be so smart. Why doesn't Apple do this already? I mean, make a very small little uh, panel for this just to be able to adjust it quickly without having to go into settings every single time. And a cool feature taken from Snapchat, the ability to double tap the camera and reverse the cameras, very convenient. Also the ability to pause video while recording, that one would be nice as well. So next up, the volume HUD. This one has been around with us for what, close to 11 years now on the iPhone. Please get rid of it, make a little tiny one up top so it doesn't obstruct your content. I like this one from Apollo application as well, very clean. And I feel we should be able to lock individual applications from prying eyes using biometric security like Face ID or Touch ID. It's such a convenient thing to do without having to use all these third-party applications that promise a similar but definitely not the same thing. Also CarPlay mode, I don't know why Apple hasn't done this already. It seriously makes sense, it would be safer. And not to mention, you wouldn't have to buy a brand new car in order to get this feature. But I do understand that this would be a very tough one because you'd actually have to pass laws for it to be legal to interact with your phone. So this one is just a wish at this point. And it's really annoying how you can't actually disable or turn off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles in the control center. You've always been able to do that. I don't know why they removed it. So definitely bring it back and give us full control over over these controls. And a very basic one, why are we limited to just one timer in the clock application? Allow us to set two, three, maybe even more. Competitors have been able to do it forever. And this feature would be nice, taken straight from the iPads, the ability to use applications or compatible ones in a split screen view. It would boost productivity and it definitely makes sense on the larger screens of the Plus series iPhones and the iPhone 10. Definitely don't bring it to all, but on the iPhones where it makes sense, do bring it. It would be a very welcome feature especially for productivity people. And another iPad feature I'd like to receive on the iPhones, especially on the taller display of the iPhone 10, is picture-in-picture -picture video, which as you can see here, works very well. It allows you to watch video while multitasking and doing other things. It's adaptive, you can hide it temporarily. It's just really all around cool. Now I don't use an iPhone Plus series anymore, but when I did, I do remember that the one-handed support for it was quite bad. So it'd be cool if Apple introduced some sort of mode that you could enable to use on the Plus series with one hand and the ability to reboot your iPhone instead of just having to power it down and then on again would be nice. Also renaming Bluetooth devices in the Bluetooth settings. Why isn't this an option already? I don't know because I actually have many different devices that are named the same almost and it's hard to differentiate them. And honestly, more customization with the AirPods, the gestures would be nice. Right now you can do several things, but having more control over especially volume control would be nice. And a guest mode. This one makes more sense on an iPad, but would be cool on an iPhone. Basically a restricted mode if you share your device with several people so that they can definitely not access certain areas of your device, but to have access to others. And uh, here's just an example of how Apple could implement it cleanly with the iPhone 10. And a couple of features I'd like to see on the iPad series. So when I go from my iPhone 10 to my iPad, I start using the gestures on the iPad and I realize they're so different and that annoys me. They should unify the experience. And the dock, it'd be nice if we had an option to keep it always on the display. And this way you can actually improve your creativity, I think, a little bit easier to switch between apps. And Siri is so 
bad right now, honestly, like years behind the competition. So Apple needs to make her smarter and more capable of basic commands actually. And actually offline Siri would be nice as well for like super simple things. And for emergencies, it would certainly make sense to have an ultra low power saving mode that takes advantage of the organic LED display. And that way you can get a lot more battery life while retaining the basic tasks that your phone needs in an emergency. It definitely would be nice to have the ability to clear app caches as some can collect a crazy amount of data and there is no way to flush it without removing the app. And a feature I'd love to see Apple steal from YouTube in the native video player is the quick skip function where you can double tap on the right side of the screen and skip a certain amount. Also, they should bring back the wishlist feature in the app store. I don't really know why they removed that in the first place, bring it back. So guys, that is what I'd like to see in iOS 12, some of the biggest things. If we even happen to see five, I think that would be a miracle. Apple is not known for being generous with these kind of features, but thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the iOS 12 news. Peace.